In iOS 10, there's a new app called Home, which allows you to control all of your HomeKit enabled devices in one place. Here's how it works. So the Home app is one of the new default apps that come in iOS 10. If you have HomeKit enabled devices, once they're set up, they will appear in the Home app, and this gives you a single place to control all of the smart devices that you own. When you open up the app, you have three panes, a Home section, Room section, and Automation section. The Home section and Room section are pretty similar, but in Home, you have your favorite items. So if there's a light that you use a lot or a switch that you turn off and on often, you can set it here even if they're located in different rooms. In the room section, you could separate your house into different rooms, and you put the different smart items that are in those specific rooms into this dedicated section. You can also change different settings like adding different scenes so you can tap once and it'll change multiple different items in your home. Although for some cases, it seems like you get better control in the dedicated apps rather than in home. Under automation, you can use your Apple TV or iPad as a hub, so even if you're out and about, you can control everything that's in your home. And you will also be able to automate routines so you can do things like turn on your lights automatically at certain times. Now finally, you have the ability to use home in the control center. So you don't have to open up the app to control everything, you can just see your favorites simply by swiping up. Now iOS 10 brings support for even more types of devices like cameras, AC units, doorbells, and all these things will be able to be controlled in the home app and also through notifications as well. So for instance, if someone rings your video doorbell, you can respond using the app notification instead of having to open up the app. So this is the home app in iOS 10. This is still in beta, so we may see some changes, but it gives us a pretty good idea of what to expect when iOS 10 is released in the fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to see when new videos are out and visit MacRumors.com for more. I wanna thank you all for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.